Like I'm literally obsessed. So you all know, or maybe not, but most of you know that I'm literally obsessed with pumpkin spice lattes, specifically from Starbucks. <clears throat> Therefore, I don't feel like spending $7 on a drink every single day of my life during the fall season. So I was like, why don't I search up a recipe online? Because I feel like that's the tea, is when you can find like a good coffee recipe that literally tastes like Starbucks, because I'm cracking Starbucks's code. I found the oat milk that they used and it makes my coffees 10 hundred times better. I'm really analyzing them and I'm I'm going to be the new Starbucks. We're gonna make a pumpkin spice latte together and I'm gonna make it hot. I'm gonna make like one batch and it says to split it into two mugs. So I think it's technically like two cups of coffee. So we'll see how much it makes. And if it makes too much, I'm just gonna like put the rest in the fridge and then make an iced coffee for tomorrow. But I do feel like a hot coffee today because the weather's kind of gloomy. And you know what, when the we weather's gloomy, I feel like hot coffee. Not all the time actually, that's kind of a lie, but sometimes we're gonna start. I'm actually really excited. I really hope that this turns out good because if it does, you already know I'm gonna be making huge vats of this, okay? And storing it for the fall. Okay, let's start. This is my little saucepan. Hold on, I'll give you guys a different angle. Okay, I'm gonna be walking you guys through this whole process so that if you wanna make it, then you can just write it down or refer back to this video. But wait until I taste it before writing this down because if it's bad, then I don't want you guys <laughs> to waste your time. Okay, so I'm gonna put two cups of milk in a little saucepan. If you guys didn't know, this is the literal best oat milk of all time to make coffees with. It's the one that Starbucks uses. I've raved about this in the past, but just in case, it's this one. Best shit ever. I'm gonna start heating the milk up, and I need to add two tablespoons of pumpkin puree. So this is the can that I'm gonna be using. I just found it in my pantry, so. Ooh, it smells very pumpkin-y. I'm gonna add that in here. So the recipe calls for two to three tablespoons of sugar, but I sweeten my coffee with maple syrup, so I'm just gonna do that. And usually I put two of these little spoons in my coffee, so I'm just gonna put four in here, because I'm pretty sure that this is double the recipe so, of what I would usually make. So I'm just gonna do it based off of what I already know. And then I'm just gonna take a whisker and whisk it up. Okay, so I think that that's hot. Yeah, that's definitely hot. So now it's telling me to whisk in the vanilla, pumpkin pie spice, and the coffee. It says to add a half teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, but I don't have pumpkin pie spice, so I kind of searched up what I can use for an alternative, and it said like cinnamon and nutmeg, so I'm just gonna do cinnamon and nutmeg, I guess. I'm just gonna add that in now. And so now it looks something like that. And we're just gonna mix it up. I don't know why, but I'm like nervous to taste this because I'm just really hoping for the best. But I'm, I'm gonna taste it before I put it in a mug just because in case like I need to add sugar or whatever, I just wanna make sure that I can do it. Ah! I'm so scared. Okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna taste it. I'm so nervous. I don't know why. I just really hope that this is good. Here we go. You know what? She's not Starbucks, but it'll do. It'll, it'll, it'll do. I think I put too much nutmeg because I didn't have the pumpkin pie spices. So I think that would have made it a lot better. I think I accidentally put too much nutmeg because I can taste it, but it's not bad at all. Overall, I'll give it a seven and a half out of 10, I think is a good rating, but I'm gonna like pour it into the mug and then like drink more of it tickle my senses a little more to see how it sits with me. Yeah, it's definitely good actually. Like it's really good. Okay, so I just poured it into a mug and I'm gonna save that to make like an iced coffee tomorrow. It's actually really good. I actually really like it. I'm upgrading it to an eight. Anyways, I'm gonna go and draw my coffee now, get back to work, clean up, Ugh. and I will see you when I see you, which is. You guys, this song is such a bop. It's called Jam. It's literally such a freaking bop. Like it just makes me want to like dance and be happy and just good vibes, good ass vibes. Okay, so I'm currently in the car, obviously, and me and Joel are going to Fort Langley today, which is like a bit away from my house, and it's a really, really cute area just to like walk around. And there's little shops there, and it's by the water. So we're gonna have just like a cute afternoon slash evening there, and just kind of explore and have a fun day 
we weren't gonna do anything today but joel like needed to get a couple of stops done he needed to go to a bike store he had to pick some stuff up drop something off so i was like why don't we just like make a day out of it since you're going out anyways let's do something cute and i can vlog up for you guys to show you guys around because i feel like it's just so interesting to see other people's like cities and i don't know because every city is unique i don't know it's just really cool to see how like the different and unique aspects everywhere in the world and that's why i literally love youtube because it's like you can get an insight on people's life where they live and it's i don't know it's just it's just really cool it's getting stuffy in here i literally need to put the air conditioning on it's kind of like a fall day where like it's sunny but it's not necessarily hot i wouldn't say it's probably around like 20 degrees celsius let me check for sure yeah so apparently it's 18 degrees celsius right now so it's kind of like on the colder ish side it's not like too cold so it's kind of like a perfect fall temperature and i decided to whip out this outfit so i'm wearing like the crew neck so i'm like warmer on top and then i'm wearing a skirt i'll show you like a more in-depth fit when i stand up but i got the inspo for this on pinterest and it's literally the perfect outfit for this temperature because it's like you're kind of half wearing summer and you're kind of half wearing fall and i paired it up with my jewelry from anna luisa thank you anna luisa for sponsoring this video i literally love their shit literally everything that they have is so cute and it's amazing quality it's sustainable and their pieces are affordable they start at 39 dollars, which is really good for like good quality jewelry because i hate buying like a 20 dollar piece of jewelry and then having it like literally deteriorate on me like a week after buying it i feel like it's just such a waste of money okay so here's my in-depth fit over here so here is this beautiful necklace this green is just so beautiful i honestly am more into gold jewelry than i am silver and then i have these cute ass little tiny hoops like I like to call them baby hoop earrings with like little diamonds on them. I honestly haven't worn earrings in so long because I bought like a fake pair of hoops, but they irritate my ears to the point where like I can't wear them for too long or they'll literally start hurting my earlobes. So I have to make sure that whatever kind of jewelry I put in my ears are like good quality so that they don't hurt my ears because my ears are very sensitive. But these literally are so perfect. These are going to be my go-to earrings from now on. I think I'm just literally going to keep them in and never take them out because i know that they're not going to irritate my ear and then i also got this ring like how beautiful is this ring like i'm literally obsessed like literally obsessed holy shit this is so cute when i have jewelry on it literally just like puts me in this alter ego mode that i just feel like a higher version of myself and i just feel so what's the word i just feel so put together whenever i see girls wearing like cute jewelry i'm like holy shit like they have their shit together they have their life Life together jewelry is so simple and easy to just throw on but it can make any outfit a step up from what it is like i'm not kidding you i admire girls that wear jewelry so if you guys go click the link in the description you can shop their site and use my code bento10 for 10 percent off so take advantage of that i know you guys will love their jewelry because i'm literally obsessed with it um so yeah go click the links in the description if you guys want to support me and shop in Louisa. how cute is my jewelry I like the ring especially right look at the earrings oh are they cute yeah, those are really nice. Oh, I know. <laughs> currently sitting down enjoying the view i got strawberry vegan ice cream and this shit is so good i think strawberry is like one of my number one favorite flavors for ice cream what a beautiful day mm, mm, mm.
just got home. I'm tired. Every time I go out, it takes it out of me. I swear COVID did this to me where like, I'm so used to just being at home that like the second I step out of the house, it's like I expel all my energy. Oh, but I'm definitely just gonna go in, have some dinner and I wanna make peanut butter cookies today. And not just peanut butter cookies, but vegan healthy peanut butter cookies. I made them like a week ago maybe and they were so good. I mean, they really are not as good as like the unhealthy greasy ones that I used to make but these ones it just like you know you're putting better things into your body so it's like I don't feel bad eating them and they taste good oh you like them oh my god are you joking they're so good they don't taste like a healthy cookie like I've had healthy cookies they taste like basically like a real cookie like you can barely tell that they're healthy they're not as good as like real peanut butter cookies with sugar and stuff but like it doesn't taste like bland at all like they're good they're good oh Mm, craving them and they're actually like really easy to make they literally took me like 20 minutes not even i'm so excited I, i'm like craving that oh are you tired too i'm so tired like, i'm debating I if i should do a little workout <sighs> I would not be able to work out right now. There's no way. Let me know if this happens to you as well. Going out of the house now, ever since we were like in lockdown and had to stay home, going out of the house, I get tired. I can take a nap right now. It's 6.25, so I'm not gonna take a nap because I'm going to bed soon, but I'm definitely just gonna eat, make the cookies, and then have a chill night. Ugh. You guys, also, today felt like fall. When I used to see the leaves on the ground and I'm like walking in like a cute fall outfit, I get this sensation that's kind of like so similar to like the Christmas vibe, but it's like a fall vibe, you know what I mean? And it makes me so internally happy. You probably don't even get that right. You can't really relate, no. Yeah. But I know what you mean, but like I just don't really care. It's like vibey, it's like, ooh, it's new, it's vibey, it's fall. But I just, I just felt that today. I felt the fall vibes. It was a perfect fall day today. So I'm so blessed. You know, sometimes it's like, okay, you could have like a workout schedule and say to yourself, like, oh, I'm gonna work out six days a week. At the same time, there's times where it's good to push yourself, but there's also times where you just have to rest. Oh, I saw this thing today on somebody's Instagram story, and I'm gonna read it to you guys. Every person I know is at grade A exhaustion right now, so let this be your motivational tweet. Don't do the thing today. Don't go out don't go get it stay in bed if you can and have a bowl of soup and nap rest isn't laziness rest isn't failure rest like so many people guilt trip themselves for resting and like even sometimes when i rest i think in my head like oh shit should i be doing work right now like should i be doing something more productive but it's like when your body needs rest like it needs rest and that's okay like it's normal it's not a bad thing it's just neutral it's equal it's important to listen to your body and if you need rest then you need rest don't feel guilty about it because people think of rest as a bad thing like people correlate it with like a bad thing usually it's like guilty bad um lazy but it's like it's just as neutral as being productive because your body needs it like you need to rest have yourself a spa day i think we're gonna do a video soon of like having a spa day i kind of need a spa that would, day that would be fun. today was a busy day like i did a lot of stuff oh my today God, do you want to be do you want to make the video with me we can do spa day together that'd be pretty nice let's do it comment down below if you want to see that <laughs> Okay, you guys, so now is the official time when I'm making the healthy peanut butter cookies. I'm not gonna like go in depth and explain the recipe because I figured I can just link it down below for you guys instead of going into it, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to do like a montage of me doing it, but check down below because it will be there. Oh, I'm so excited. And it's actually so, like I said before, so easy to make. And I use natural peanut butter. It would probably taste better with the unhealthy kind of peanut butter that has like added sugar and stuff but at the end of the day this is like way healthier so my cookies were so good i had three of them i'm feeling it in my stomach like i really am but it was worth it because they were so good and they're not like that unhealthy it's just like i think i eat too much and i was already full when i ate the cookies so now i'm just feeling like if i close my eyes right now i swear i can fall asleep standing up and it's literally not even 10 o'clock well it's just hit 10 o'clock so i don't know why i'm so tired there's gonna be something in the moon today because i'm usually never this tired also if you guys hear something it's because my cat's in here playing my clip <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm so tired. When you guys come home from like a late night or something, don't you guys wish you can just snap your fingers and be like face washed, skincare done, pajamas on, like everything accomplished? That would literally be the best thing ever. Like I know it's such first world problems, but um. Okay you guys, I did it. I got ready for bed. I'm so like the feeling of being in bed in comfortable face wash, teeth brush, just feels so freaking good. And it's the best feeling ever, especially when you, you just showered and you have fresh clean sheets. Oh, that's probably one of the top 10 best feelings in life. Anyways, before I go, I just wanted to say something real quick and I just wanted to say remember that everybody has their own unique journey in life Yours is not going to be the same as anyone else's at all So your journey being unique is a good thing. It's far from being a bad thing because we are all unique people so Therefore our journeys are going to be unique and don't ever put yourself down If you feel like you're falling behind because you can't fall behind in your own journey It's impossible. You can technically fall behind in society what society deems as this and that but you can't fall behind on your own journey and just remember that you're on your own path in life and you're exactly where you're meant to be and I know I say this a lot, but it's just important to remind people about because I feel like it gets forgotten about a lot and we get so much like Responsibilities stress put on our shoulders and sometimes it can be stressful thinking about the future and Pondering whether you're in the right place in your life and if you're meant to be there and if something makes you happy Just know that that's a sign that you're on the right path and follow your intuition follow your gut feeling ultimately at the end of the day just know that your journey is special and if you're going through a tough time right now it's for a reason you're going to come out stronger everything happens for a reason i truly do believe in that and you may not see the reason right away but eventually down the line you will figure it all out every part in there your journey is crucial to experience and that might be a low so just know that and enjoy your journey as well because i feel like people just want to get to their destination but it's so important to enjoy your journey apparently that's the funnest part like i was watching this vlog and this girl finally bought her dream car after wanting it for her whole life she's like you know what it was actually funner dreaming about having it rather than buying it like she had more fun dreaming of it wanting it than actually having it so that just goes to show that sometimes you gotta appreciate the journey because one day you're gonna be where you all Vault wanted to be and you might miss working towards it and being in that stage of life so appreciate every moment just know that wherever you are in your life it's okay and it's normal and you can get through it it's part of your journey okay i'm gonna end the video off here i love you guys so much thank you for watching especially if you're watching like up until this point right now like i really love you don't forget to check out anna luisa i'll have the link down below for you guys yeah thank you guys for all your support and your love and i'll see you guys in my next video so